Hello everybody and welcome back to part 9 of my let's play of Bannerlord. We just got our own kingdom in the last video, so I'm really excited that we have our castle here and we have our two little villages that we can visit. So today what I want to do is I want to manage the castle a little bit and I also want to work on building relations with my towns. I think my next goal is going to be to go for Donostica. I feel like I need a main town so that I can actually have workshops set up in it and also it's logical that I would go to the next closest place so I can stay around. Wait, what's going on over here? Why was this loaded? Okay, well, I need to build up the army first again before I can do that, but speaking of army, we have, let me leave here and see how many, we have 210 defenders without me in the castle, so I think it's going to be okay, but first thing I want to do is go over to, oh, actually, no, we'll look at, we'll look and see what's going on with the castle first. Uh, we'll go over some of the castle management. So... I have upgraded the walls, the gardens. I've built a granary so that we have more food. Unfortunately, they're still starving. So I think I'm going to need to make another one. And I do have a reserve. What happens here is if you put a coin reserve in, uh, every day it will multiply the speed of your growth of whatever project you've chosen by two. So I'm gonna add a bunch in there and it's going to speed things up so i've got granary one going what else do i need gardens are maxed workshops are maxed um village production yeah we could get our villages producing a little bit more i think that would be a good idea and we can also get walls to go up on that so this is going to work quickly i think okay so now that we have that going let's go check out kira it's kind of an interesting way to get there, isn't it? Lots of bridges in a little swampy area. Um, okay, so the people are malnourished, animals are sick or dying, cropland is being reclaimed by weeds for lack of hands to sow it. So basically they're having some issues. Let's see what Satheris of Cairo wants us to do. I'm kind of hoping that by talking to these guys, wait, landlord needs access. A landowner needs your help in a dispute with villagers from nearby Odrissa. They won't let his herders use pastures he bought. Oh God, this could turn ugly. I want to try, I want to try and be diplomatic about this. So win-win situation for everyone, but this game, you never really know how it's going to turn out. Okay, my name is Wispaswee. I am Satheris. I own land around here. I speak for many of the people in this village. I'll mark your name. Okay, I heard you may need some help with a problem. I recently purchased the right to graze cattle. Okay, so this is like a repeatable quest that's going on. So they claim that I don't have the right to graze there, that village land can't be bought, but he actually bought it. Okay. You or one of your companions with three men should do the job. Either way, I am willing to pay you 866. I doubt they'd stand up long to real warriors okay I can get your herdsmen to the pastures okay so I'm kind of worried about the backlash I might get um, I don't know okay you agreed to do the job and have okay so the herders have joined the party and we need to go over to our other town of Odrissa. Hopefully, oh, please tell me I'm not going to... I'm going to sacrifice one to help the other. Hopefully not. The cool thing about this little land bridge is it's easy to tell when enemies... You know, if you get stuck, you can just go the other way. It's not like they can really chase you. So that's kind of cool. But and, wait, what? Did I just... T Empire peasant. Here we go. See, this is what I was talking about. Don't get involved in this. We've grazed our herds on these hillsides since our father's father's time. We don't care if one rich bastard gave a couple of bags of silver to another rich bastard. We don't care about the title deeds or courts. Oh god, what do I do? Mm -mm -mm -mm. See, technically I'm the lord, so I can't just ignore them. Okay. So Odrissa's gonna love me, but Kara's gonna hate me, basically. That's fine. See... I feel like these people have a right to their land. So let's see what this place says. The village is poor, the people are malnourished, animals are sick or dying. My god. Let me buy some of their their stuff. So maybe it helps. 
Maybe it helps them a little bit. Now, in castle management, I believe... Yeah, so the lime kiln says plus 10 to village production. So that's good. Otherwise, I don't really know how to improve the towns. Anyway, while our towns are working, I think, or while our castle is working, I think we should go and build up the army even more because this happened. It says Istiana, do you remember her? She's uh, the lady who we first talked to for the banner quest. This popped up as I was saving my game before I got back on here. I completely forgot to mention it earlier in the video, but here it is. Istiana knows of the rise of your kingdom of the Atani. Rumors say Istiana is planning to undo your progress. Be ready. So this is why I need to go collect more of my Kuzate mounted horsemen. And I'm kind of going to show you how I collect everybody and level them up. I just go around to all of the different towns. Some of them I have better relations with than others. And uh, I just put them in my party. And then what I do is I chase down looters and bandits and I send the troops in alone. Troops get like this. Uh, troops get more experience for going in by themselves. They will upgrade faster. Um, that's what I read anyway. And it seems to be the case from experience. So I send them in. They usually do fairly well. And then, as you can see, they're all ready to upgrade. Well, not all, but many are ready to upgrade. So that's pretty much how I've been doing this. And it's fairly fast. Probably takes about 15 minutes to go all around the Kuzate land. And of course, you get a little bit of loot, not much. But um, it just takes a little bit of time to go all around the Kuzate land and work on leveling everyone up. And then I drop them off back at the castle or I keep them in my party depending on what they are so this is a pretty great big group of looters so I'm gonna go after them surrender or die so this does get pretty grindy I've noticed that if you want to grind skills things get pretty grindy but yeah see only seven injured we didn't actually lose anybody so um, I'm not gonna take them as prisoners actually Pack camel. This is my first camel. This is so cool. Okay. Let me mark him off. Let me mark the butter off as well. And then I'm going to go ahead and butcher the sheep. And keep the meat. Nice. Okay. Actually, let me sell all my stuff. See how much we get for all of this. Let me make sure... The horses, I don't have any horses available, or not available, but unlocked. Okay. So yeah, 20 grand. This is how I make the bulk of my money, is by leveling up my troops and running around, and then the rest I make passively in my workshops, um, which I have two of. Okay, there's no way I'm going to catch those guys, so let's not be doing that. But yeah, as you level up your trade, um, my trade is still really low. I haven't actually been able to put anything into it, but I'm hoping that that'll also help make me a big chunk of cash. Oh, so many things that I can send my troops into. But yeah, there is something kind of cool about this. I mean, it's rewarding, but at the same time, it is grindy. Um, so we'll send these guys in. And done. And they're all leveling up. So I've been doing mostly warriors uh, mounted units. And then I'm going to give all of the archers and um, footmen, not the mounted units, to my garrison. And I think that's going to end up working pretty well. So anyway, after these looters and maybe after this town, um, I will head back and see how the 
castle is doing and see if it helped our towns at all. Because what I really want is I want the towns to not be malnourished. You know what I mean? I want them to be productive. And I think really the only way I'm going to be able to do that is by creating that lime thing. Okay, let's see where we are with everything. So, we have a level 2 granary. The food is still not doing very well. Um, this is plus bonus food production. The prosperity is going down. Security is up. Daily production is up. Okay. Loyalty is okay, I guess? Governor's culture. Okay, they like the governor. Security plus two. Okay. Is there anything else I can be doing? So now really all I can do is declare war on the Southern Empire. What I'm going to do is try and find a noble. A Kuzadi noble. And I am going to... Uh, oh, here we go. A drum. A drum. Hello. I want to team up with them. So may I ask your name? I'm a drum. An emir of Munchug. I don't know your name, but no matter. Ooh, you don't know my name? Some say there is greater honor to found a great lineage than to be born with one. So there is something I'd like to discuss. Um, candidly, what do you think of your liege? Ooh, this is interesting. What are you saying? I'm the rightful ruler of this land. I would like your support. I barely know. Oh, jeez. I didn't. No, no, no. I didn't realize that was what. I didn't realize that was what, what was going on. Okay, this is just a proposal for that stuff. I don't want any of that. Um, okay, so I basically, I need to find the, like, the head leader. Or I need to find a noble who has, like, a quest for me so I can become, you know, I can become on good terms with them. That kind of thing. Request entry to the castle. Mara's in here. But she doesn't seem like she's a, a player of the game, so let's go to Akalat. I don't know why I have it marked. I don't need to have it marked. Okay. Um, go to the keep. Mehir, nobleman of Kuzade. Okay, here we go. So let's talk to him. Let's see what he has for us. All of this, by the way, is to form an alliance with... Wait, company, sell his mercenaries to another lord before they cause any trouble? Okay, That's, that doesn't sound too bad. I think I can do that. But yeah, the whole point of this is to forge an alliance with the Kuzates before we go to war, hopefully, with the Southern Empire. Or once we ally, we might be at war with them already. So we'll see. My name is Wispasui, sir. I am Mehir of the Tigrit. Our clan has loyally served the Kuzate Kanate, Kanat Kanate for generations. I'll mark your name. Um, I heard you may need some help with a problem. Yes, I hired a band of mercenaries for a campaign some time back, but normally mercenaries have their own peculiar kind of honor. You pay them, they fight for you, you don't. They go somewhere else. But these ones have made it pretty clear that if I don't keep renewing the contract, they'll turn bandit. I can't afford that right now. What do you want from me? Well, you have the reputation of being able to manage ruffians. Maybe you can take them off my hands, find some other lord who has more need of them, and more dinars to pay them. I've paid their contract for a few months. I can give you a small reward... And if you can find a buyer, you can transfer the rest of the contract to him. Okay. So, can I just take them myself and consider it done? Wouldn't that be the easiest thing to do? Also, I need to start looking for a husband of this faction. I really need to do that. My character's aging. Um, okay, what does our quest log say about this? Okay, he asked you to sell them for him without causing any trouble? Well, are they in my party? Mercen- there's 23 of them? How do I do this? Um... Okay. I guess let's go here and see if we can- Talk to another lord. I really don't... Actually, can we talk to you? Let's see. Oh! Oh, nope. That's not what I wanted. Dang it. 
Okay, I was gonna try and barter with him and give him the swords. Like, literally just give them. Hopefully we can find another lord. Ulaman, here we go. Uh-oh, my men are stealing. I think it's those bad boys. Let's see if we can offload them. Do you need mercenaries? How, though, are they? Tell me about the details. Um... Yeah. Oh, we did it! Okay, okay, okay. Oh, I'm so happy. Okay. And I gained skill and charm. Okay, nice. Alright. I'm so glad we got rid of them. <laughs> they were stealing my stuff. Hopefully he doesn't hate me after this. So, okay, we did it. So this is still... The conspiracy strength is still growing. And, uh, yeah, all right. All right, let's see how our progression is doing here. Manage castle. Okay, so we went from negative six to negative five, so that's good. Prosperity is negative three. What was it before? I can't remember. Security's fine. Okay, so right now we're working on walls, and then we need granary three. So before I end this video, I want to look at one more thing, which is the kingdom management. I want to see if there's anything that I can do in the policies to kind of help keep our people fed, because right now there seems to be a little bit of a problem with that. So let's do this really quickly. Lands grants for veterans grazing rights. I have like no support. I don't know. If, oh, I can't propose until I have influence. So influence is going to be gotten by killing enemies. So I can't even do any of these anyway. Road tolls hunting rights. Food productions. Okay, yeah. See, this is what I need. I need to... Okay, so this is something to work on. Perfect. I need to be able to gain influence so that I may increase the prosperities of my towns. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I am going to make my way to Chai Khand, and in the next video we are going, actually I'm going to be smart and I'm going to use the encyclopedia and look for, I believe, uh, can I not, they, mm, Radagos, okay. Let's look for home. This is really helpful, by the way. Kingdoms, Kuzait, Leader, Manchug. Let's see where he is. Last seen at Ispantar today. So let's go find him. Ispantar. Here it is. Yes, he's close. Okay. So yes, anyway. While we move towards Ispantar, um, I'll just talk about what my plan is. So basically what I want to do is ally. Maybe through marriage or maybe just through talking with the leader. So I showed you a little bit about the uh, city management and kingdom management, although I can't get deeper into kingdom management until I find the uh, the war leader Manchug and ask if I can become an ally with him. So that's hopefully what I'm going to be doing in the next video. So thank you so much for joining me for this one. I'm just going to do one more quick look for him before Mun I think I'm spelling it wrong yeah I'm spelling it wrong okay we'll just go back in here again last seen near Mazen today okay we've tracked that okay you know what? We're going to push forward and we're going to go find him. Okay. There he is. We did it. Okay, nice. Hello, Munchug. Perfect. What a great way to end the video. We found him. All right, Wispy, it's been a while. Oh, wait, what is this? Oh, it shows how he feels about me. I have a quick question. Do you have any general thoughts on politics? This is interesting. I haven't seen this dialogue before. Well, let me put things this way. 
Urkun, my forefather, gave the Kuzates everything they had. They were as mangy stepdogs, eating from the scrap heap outside the walls of the cities. He turned them into a pack of wolves. He raised his hand and cities fell, and he gave them clan's land to call their own. Okay. Is there a chieftain of the Kuzates who does not like my decisions? If there are one who does not want me as Khan, so be it. Okay, so they're called Khans. Let him abandon his lands, the gift of my forefathers, and flee back into the great grass. I will not follow, I will not hunt him. Okay. But he who stays here in the land won by my forefather, he lives under my hand. That is all there is to say. Okay, so I basically... Okay. All right. So that's that. So at this point, I really think I just need to look for a bachelor and not really worry as much. Maybe this is my, my future husband, Kintag. Let's see. So I don't need to worry about as much, uh, worry as much about Munchug, but oh man, I don't know if I can do the facial hair. I like myself a beard, but I don't know about the mustache. I'm Kinteg of the Coltit. Our clan has loyally served the Kuzate Kanate for generations. I'll mark your name. I have a quick question. Can't do anything. Something I'd like to discuss. Darn it. Okay. He's not single. <laughs> All right, guys. So I'm going to end this video here. In the next one, I'm definitely going to be looking for a suitor and, of course, continuing to grow the army and grow the kingdom. It's really cool how this is going along. I know I'm going really slowly, but um, I really don't want to rush. Oh, wait a minute. This could be him. Is this him? Bortu. Hello. Are you single? My name is Wispa Wee. Please be single. I have a quick question. No. The, okay, so all the proposal does is just... Why can't I be diplomatic? Dang it. <sighs> okay. Darn. Anyway. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, just looking over stuff uh, as far as kingdom management goes and also how I build my troops and how I'm hoping to maintain my towns. I don't know if it's going to work or not. Um, we're just going to have to see how everything goes. So thank you again for joining me. As always, you can find the links to all of my socials in the description box down below. I hope you all are enjoying your games, particularly Bannerlord, and I will see you all in the next video.